It looks like the island has claimed another one of us, Losties. I think Shannon is dead. Um, I'm not dead. I'm just sunbathing. And you're in my light. I found some goop in a flower on the other side of the island. We'll rub it on her forehead and perhaps she'll hallucinate and give us more answers about this mysterious place. Speaking of hallucinating, can I have me drugs? Only if you ask me for them three times, Charlie. Right. Can I have me drugs? Can I have me drugs? Can I have me drugs? Damn. Well, it worked for Jesus. Here you are. You can drive Shaft in the Shire, Mary. Mary, you're not gonna marry me, Charlie, with your little freak. Prince. Always remember that dwarves are natural sprinters. There's a lot of TV shows on. You know, you, you, it's tough to do uh, reality shows because those people sort of change time and time again. So having a big fan base for a TV show is becoming more and more difficult in Hollywood. So when ABC came out with both Desperate Housewife and Lost, you went, wow. And, and they've been able to sustain that. And Lost really speaks closer to the demographics that we deal with because it's sort of sci-fi and you got Crash, you got Monsters, you got all this intrigue and conspiracy, all the, all the cool stuff. Um, and, and, and that was way closer to the audience we had. Plus, Lost had been very conservative in putting any kind of ancillary products out there and licensed product. And there was a bit of a hunger for people going, hey, why don't they do more? So now that we're actually coming out with the, the figures, you know, I, I know the first question is going to be cool. The second one is going to be, how come you didn't take this character, this character, and this character? Well, ideally, we hope, just like the TV show, the toys sell very well, and we can end up doing all the characters in all the shows, whether they're alive or dead. And just like we do with sports, there's been more than one Derek Jeter, there's been more than one Brett Favre, and one, more than one Jerry Wright. The, the A-plus character, we hope to do three or four versions of them. So, again, you know, today here we're signing with Jorge Garcia who plays Hurley. I hope to have four or five because he's done some terrific stuff and he's kind of funny in the show. So, with Jack, when we were talking about the different moments, we knew that if you sort of jump too far ahead chronologically and then you did one and you wanted to actually do the beginning of the show as a whole, it would it might be a little confusing. So we go, let's just go back, let's grab some of the key ones and then start moving forward. And obviously the, the moment with Jack, you're right, I, I don't think he ever wore that suit other than those first five minutes, but, but that's the beginning of the show. So we wanted to go, here's the beginning of the show and at some level, if you end up buying all hundred of these figures if we're so lucky to have them. It is like here's the beginning and then here's where they found the hatch and here's they blew up the hatch and here's when that guy died and you just sort of go down and it makes some kind of sense. So I knew we were going to do hopefully more than one Matthew Fox and and I go let's just get him here and then him buffed out with the girls want with this you know with the tattoo showing and him looking good. He'll he'll be coming down the pipeline. It's so will Sawyer for all the ladies out there. Just a question about uh, Spawn. Uh, the first movie came out back when uh, superhero comic movies weren't really that big, and it was uh, really successful. And there's been rumors for years now about a part two. Uh, can you say anything about that? Is that still something that's in the works? Or uh, here's where we're at with the with the second movie. It's not a, it's not a sequel. 
uh, it's a reinvention, and, and I'm writing the script. Uh, we took it to a couple of studios. They they kept it, didn't do much with it in development, and then they sort of languished and it went to another one. I just got to the point where I go, guys, you know what? I'll I'll just get this done. So I've been fortunate in my life that you know I can I can come up with an idea. I've got plenty of them. I can actually come up with the funding, do a low budget movie, and then actually I'm going to direct it myself too because I visually I know exactly what I want it to look like. Now, what does that mean in terms of the look of it? Instead of it being an action movie with big budget special effects, it means it's going to now be a dark, gritty, R-rated spook thriller movie that will get your blood going and that actually will startle you done right. And that the only thing that's out of the ordinary in the story is whoosh, this thing that moves in the shadows that we intuitively know is Spawn. Any plans to do some comics anytime soon? Going? Yeah. No, no, uh, you know, again, I started in comic books and had a good time at it and, and loved it, but has uh, sort of the business sort of shifted there. I, I, you know, to me, it's I'm I'm very proud of my art, and but I'm also, you know, a little bit egotistical. I want as many people to see it as possible. I'm like a proud papa. Every time you do it, you you pull out your photo and you show your children to people. Well, these are artistic children, and the comic book market was was beginning to shrink, and I saw other opportunities where you could go into video games and TV and movies and and toys and things like that, novels, where there's also a group of people that will pay attention, and in some cases, a much larger audience. Um, and uh, that will look at that artwork and you're going, cool. You know, for me, it's just trying to find as many eyeballs as possible to look at it. And if, if, if comic books, you know, had a fan base of two million people, buy, then I go, I, I would never have moved. But as it began to shrink, you just either stay with it or you find other alternatives with your art. And that's what I've done. went over there. It was followed by a draft and a zebra. I gotta find my son! Walt! 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 Uh, uh, hallucinating. Dad! I can tell the future, Dad! And I can see stuff, Dad! Uh, uh, mm, uh, medicine. That's a great idea, Jack. I'm coming, too. Dude, I want to come because you can totally eat a horse. Well, hello there, guys. I've found a new hat. Well, I've been hunting more boar. Uh, uh, doctor. You all, everybody? Stupid loco is building baby cribs. Stupid coddling babies all the time. Hey, Freckles. Sure is a beautiful day. Like your face. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna take my shirt off and go chop some wood. Dude, why didn't anybody ask why we were in this net? Why didn't we tell anybody we were in this net? Do you think you're the only one that's had it rough? Whoa!